Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's episode we are going to be talking about something that hits me, well, right at home. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. All right, you guys, so I am super stoked once again to be showing off a update to my hometown of Tucson, Arizona. Um, this airport by default, guys, here. Well, let's just do this. Here's what it looks like before the mod. And here it is after. Everything is so much more accurate. Uh, I was so grateful. I have complained and complained for the longest time that nobody ever modified Tucson. In X-Plane 11, P3D, didn't matter. I never found an accurate version of Tucson International. And right down to here's all the National Guard centers. There's the private uh, training schools. Um, over here, I think we have, I see, I think Lockheed was back here. Might have been behind us. Um, but uh, just everything about this. We actually have technically two towers when you think about it. This one is actually decommissioned, and I think now it's an executive center. Um, and there's our new air, uh, air traffic control tower. Um, but everything from the hangars to the detail in the parking lot, uh, the jetways, the gates, the taxi lines, everything is so nice. I was so happy uh, when the first rendition of this uh, modification was first released. And then it just received an update and I was so happy. Yeah, you can record me. I'll sign any record labels that you need me to sign. I totally get it. It's a beautiful voice. But you come on down and let's just start taking a look at some of the detail that's being done here. I mean, so, yep, that's what I said. It, uh, the old tower is now the executive terminal. And it just, that is a ton of work, guys. I mean, right down to the palm trees. Those palm trees are really there. Um, the entranceways, parking lot, entr entranceway looks just absolutely perfect. You know, it just, uh, I love it. The, I love this kind of detail. All the fuel storage is exactly where it's at. Um, and it just, it makes, it makes flying around your home so much better when you get these kind of, this kind of detail put into it. Although I don't know what's happening with these carts right here. It looks like there's a texture mis mix match. So hopefully that's something that gets resolved. You know what? I'll bet you disregard that. Um, I can tell you right now that it's, re it requires a, um, uh, objects library mod that I guarantee I don't have installed. Um, I downloaded it, but I forgot to copy it over. So that explains the little pink cells there. But, I mean, the terminals. Look at the terminals, guys. This looks great. Let's come back down a little bit here. These terminals are wonderful. And I know, like, some of them, like, you can actually go inside. I don't think this is one of them. Yeah, no. And I'm totally okay with that because why? I mean, it, it's cool. It's great that you put in that kind of work. But, you know, it's not really necessary, you know, when you think about it. Um, there we go. I was wondering why the camera seemed really off. There we go. But one of my favorite things that I saw in the screenshots and confirmed out here, the parking lot is absolutely perfect. And again, this is something that does make sense to me. I don't. I agree that parking lots should be accurate because again, it's something that it's one of the largest parts of the airport when you really think about it. And uh, seeing that when it's right like that, like there was something else that caught my attention. I loved. I gotta come down and see it. That is 150 percent accurate. That is exactly where those signs are. That's exactly the directions they go. Oops, 
going the wrong way. I mean, this kind of stuff is just so cool to me, and it's got to be so tough putting this kind of effort into things. You know, this is a lot of work, um, and I'm just I'm blown away by it. So I obviously it's my hometown, so I wanted to make sure to share it with you guys. We have the cargo ramps back over here. Now you're not going to see any 747s coming out of Tucson anytime soon, but you know. It is kind of fun seeing all of this, uh, all of these features here and available. The detail that's been put into, you know, all the carts and baggage and, and or uh, boxes and, and packaging equipment that's down there. It's like these, those are the large cargo carts right there, right? I think, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that's exp <laughs> Flight Express Simulator, Flight and Co. I like it. <laughs> Um, but it's just awesome seeing this kind of stuff. I wish I knew how to do this because I would do it way uh, more often. I think that would be totally cool. I'd probably get nothing done on YouTube. But uh, the work that's been done. Oh, hey, let's check it out. You guys got to see this at night. got to see it at night. Do, 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 do. Uh, I mean, look at that. It looks gorgeous. Let's get higher. looks absolutely beautiful from the sky thoroughly enjoy this one let's turn it back to day here there we go anyway so I just wanted to share with you guys the level of detail that is done by this developer. Link to this add-on will be down in the description below. Make sure you guys give it a download. Come out and fly to Tucson. Let me know. You know, shoot screenshots. Make sure that you guys check the Discord link down in the description below. We're always chatting. There's always guys in there arranging group flights and things like that. If you don't want to fly alone, we've got a, quite a few uh, uh, different gents who, who love to fly and uh, create the group flights, as I said. Uh, hopefully we're going to be bringing those back to the channel. It's be a lot of fun. But uh, show me some screenshots of you guys flying to Tucson. I'd love to see them. I would absolutely love to see you guys uh, uh, come out here and, and have some fun with Overkill. I'm like a little kid in a uh, toy store right now, guys. I mean, I just I love this kind of stuff. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.